and welcome. I would like to thank anyone who has subscribed to this channel or to my other channel which is called Duck Films. This film is about the Gardner Engine Rally which is held every two years. Sadly it has been postponed this year due to the coronavirus. In September 2018 the rally was held at the junction where the Calden Canal joins the Trent and Mersey Canal in Stoke-on-Trent. At this junction is the Etruria Industrial Museum. On the weekend of the 15th and 16th of September 2018, the Gardner Engine Rally, the opening of Jesse Shirley's Bone and Flint Mill, stationary engine display and classic car display was taking place. I went round the Gardner Engine Rally as I have a 1964 Gardner 4LK engine in my narrowboat and I saw several other 4LK engines in a Rolls Royce, a Land Rover and in a lorry. Following this I went round the Bone and Flint Mill as the beam engine called Princess was in steam. I do hope you enjoy this film. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment below. If you would like to subscribe and click the notification bell then you will be informed when any of my other films are released on YouTube. Please could you give the film a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as this helps YouTube circulate films about the canals and rivers to a wider audience. I'll speak later on about the Flint Mill. Thank you very much for watching again.
Jesse Shirley's Bone and Flint Mill was built in the two years of 1856 and 1857. In the 18th century it was discovered that one could use ground flint and also ground bones and add these to clay in order to produce earthenware products of increased strength. Also they had increased whiteness and during the firing process one got less shrinkage of the final product. Cattle bones when added to clay produce bone china. The bone makes the china whiter and its high strength allows the china to be finer and gives it a translucent quality. Grinding bone and also grinding flint and the addition of these to clay revolutionised the ceramics industry. At the mill the wet pan grinding method is used. Before this grinding flint produced a lot of dust and led to the people doing this work getting silicosis of the lungs or potter's rot. A steam engine produces the power needed to operate the bone and flint mill. Before the grinding process the flints and also the bones are heated to a thousand degrees centigrade in a calcining kiln which is used to calcine or roast them. This process makes them more suitable for then grinding to a fine powder. It's just after it's ten years left, so I did say. Otherwise, it's going to die. So, yeah, steam comes from the boiler, round the back, through the valve on the left with the red handle, and then in the valve, through the governor valve first, and then into the steam chest. In the steam chest are a pair of slides in the box, the top of the cylinder. And the other one at the bottom, the other way swings in the opposite direction. By having that, another link connecting them, and then not pushing back to the piston rod, that cancels out the movement, the arc movement of the engine. The engine going at a normally constant speed. You'll see it does speed up and slow down, so the double will flap up and down, which they shouldn't do. I mean, sometimes get knocking in the gears, which is the uh, effect of the background. So it drives through. It through a latchet here, which allows us to back the engine off to get to a good starting position if needed. Then drives the front of here, and that drove the line sharp inside of the mill. For safety reasons and because the bearings are missing that side, we're just running that line sharp now. And of the five pounds, we're running four of them, which if you haven't already been in the room, uh, 
Once we've got the engine going, we'll run it for about 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how long the speed lasts. And we'll go and have a look see and see the pan's turning. And we'll turn on the ground in biscuit when I send you to the ground, flint or butter, 50 years ago or so. The project to restore the mill started in October 1978. I put my on the First thing I've got to do, oh, yeah, this is the valve lever. Once the engine's running, okay, rather than keeping operating the valve manually for the next. 24 hours or whatever it happens to be if it were running. The eccentric on the shaft there has this rod attached to it. And at this end, the rod's got a hook. And on the end of this shaft, there is a crank arm with a peg on it. Right, we're up to threshing now. <laughs> we'll have to watch the Quite a bit of coffee percolator. Yeah. 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 Ten tons fire, one ton of sand, one ton of sand. Ten tons of fire, one ton of sand, one ton of sand.